Did you guys miss me? It's been a week. It feels like it has been a lifetime. Well, hello and welcome back to my channel, everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush and I make reactions here on YouTube. And yes, today we're going to be continuing on our Eurovision 2024 series that will be held in the city of Malmo, Sweden on the 7th to the 11th of May. This week has been draining to say the least not only have i had a lot going on in my personal life but the last couple weeks in the eurovision world has been a lot to process there's been a lot of hatred i mean you know what's been going on i don't need to really tell you but it's made me really kind of dissociate from making videos because i just haven't been like myself however the one thing that does make me happy is this contest and it is my livelihood and brings me to reality or maybe it's the opposite maybe i like to go out of reality with eurovision i don't know what it is just the joy of music is what brings me back to life if you have no idea the eurovision pre-party season has officially begun pre-party espana 2024 just went ahead on saturday and I have had some serious FOMO not being there. I'm not going to any of the pre-parties, unfortunately, because I live in America. I can't really afford to keep flying over to Europe, but I will be going to Malmo. I haven't really been able to avoid any of the Instagram posts that have been going along on the official Eurovision Instagram and also the Wee, Wee Blogs Instagram. Pretty much everyone that's in the Eurovision fandom was there and were able to interview all the artists. And I must say, like, it felt like the most Oscar kind of worthy pre-party I have seen to date. They had like a proper carpet, everyone had some outfits going on. This is the first time where some of the artists of this year's contest are able to perform live. And for us to see their song in full action by seeing some of these artists on the red carpet and the hype of Eurovision, I feel like is back. Like I felt like it was missing. Shane actually uploaded a video explaining how he felt about it. I agree 100% with how he feels. So if you haven't seen his video on that, I'll link it down below because he worded it perfectly. So I thought today what we'd do is we'd go through some of the live performances that have been released on the pre-party ES channel. If I can't upload all of them in full now on this main channel, I will be uploading them all on my members only. So if you click the join button down there, you'll get to see all of those there. I am fully aware I have made a top 15 and also me and Oz did a predictions of who we think is gonna qualify. This is now the point where things are gonna change, especially when it comes to the actual rehearsals and after all these pre-parties. But without further ado, why don't we get into this to see how the pre-party ES went about. Went about, went ahead. But before we do so, if you would like to see a full unedited reactions, as I mentioned, all of these I'm gonna try upload on my members only. If you click that join button down there, you'll get to do that, as well as helping support me making these videos for you further. And if you're new here and love a bit of Eurovision, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important. Clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to follow me over on Instagram, it is Nush101. Some of these are not out on the EurovisionSpain.com channel yet. So I think we've got a mix of the Wee Wee Blogs videos and theirs. So if there's some that are going to be uploaded later, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of going off what is there for now. There was 26 performances out of the 37 countries that performed in this pre-party, which is quite a lot, I think. Let us begin with Basa, of course, Albania. The song is called Titan. So let us click play. Yeah, bit blurry, but we will deal with that. Ooh, nice lighting. Vocals sound really good, Basa. Titan in the sky. Ooh, really good vocal. Okay, yeah, that was very short, obviously, but it sounds good. Looks a bit plain on stage. I hope that they do more with that in Eurovision, but obviously these are just the pre-parties. They, they can only do so much there, if that makes sense. But I do really like that song, so I can't wait to see what they do with this actually on the stage. And it's Albania, so I, I have some hope that they will put 
some more into that. Okay, let us move on to our media. Now, one of my favorite songs, I think I put the seventh place. Of course, I'm Armenian. I know I put it higher because I kind of vibe with this song more than I think most people do, but I think this song is gonna do better than people actually anticipate. So I am excited to see how they did in Madrid. I mean, they've already got the audience. See? La 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 Ooh! The crowd! And the stage is so bare, but it doesn't matter. She looks so good. Jacqueline! I've got tingles. <laughs> She's having so much fun. La 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 like, literally, <laughs> nothing wrong with her vocals at all. Flawless there. And she is bringing that Armenian party energy. I love this. Da -da -da -da. Middle Eastern chant from the gods. Oh, I wish I was there so bad. Oh, it's not finished. Oh, okay. Her confidence and attitude. Oh, someone was enjoying themselves there. Oh my god, they so want to be there and they so deserve to be there. I've been wanting them to come to this contest for Armenia. Well, since I discovered them. I think it was 2019. So, yeah, that didn't really disappoint, did it? No. I'm telling you, this is going to do way better than people think. Obviously, I think there's going to be way more on the stage again. I think with all of these. Let's just say that. Um, but that filled the stage up as much as I think it was going to. So add some Armenian... Eurovision staging on there. I think that's going to be even better. Austria. Uh, this is, I think, my second favorite this year. So I can't wait to see what this one's like. Come on, Colleen. We will definitely rave with this one. Oh, she looks just like in the music video. Oh my God. The crowd. They know it. I mean, who who doesn't know this? If you've heard this once, I feel like it's gonna be in your in your bones. When the darkness turns and we can't be seen, we run the dum dum dum. We will be when our hearts are bare. Vocals sound a little bit quiet, but it's a very bassy song. So, oh, let me hear. Whoa, she is dancing. I mean, was I to expect less from her? No, she is a dancer, so. So I uh, go, go, go. Yeah, I will say her vocals aren't the best right now from what I can hear, but she is moving a lot. So I'm not saying she's bad. It's just, it's not the strongest vocal that we have this year. However, this whole package is doing something to me. I think it's doing something to this crowd. So that's definitely a good sign. Ooh, but then she like brings the choreos. <laughs> this light tech as well. 10 out of 10. Oi. She looks so good. Okay, now, yeah, th this is the choreo we need, but we need even more, I think. Especially in that drum and bass bit. Bring some drum and bass da dancing. Oh, this song is so good. I mean, survive! <sighs> It 
everything was great apart from I think the vocals need to be tightened up but I think it's just because of the dancing the amount of dancing that she's been doing and I do think also there needs to be a little bit more so I do worry a little bit I'm not saying I don't think this is going to qualify because I feel like it will because of the song itself keep the lighting in there work on those vocals a little bit more and I do think we have a very strong song and regardless it seems like everyone is going to be singing along to this like they were doing right there I was expecting a little bit more perfection I think with that one okay let's move on to Musty with Belgium and before the party is over nice dark moody lighting here the glitter oh he's got glitter on him too that looks nice mm -hmm. This song has grown on me, you know. Even this beginning bit, I wasn't sure about. And now I'm, I think I'm sure about it. Oh, oh, like I fully know it. And his vocals are really good. Ooh. It just really builds nicely this. I mean, I'm liking what they're doing on the staging here. And this isn't even Eurovision. It's all, it's all. Ooh. The party is all. It's so singable. And like, feel good as well. Oh, he's in the crowd. I like that. Oh. He disappeared. <laughs> you don't know what, I, I, got a song for I like how they're all singing like a cappella afterwards. You got a song fire. I'm gonna raise roots tonight. Please the party is over. Thank you, good night. Oh, I honestly did not think I was gonna be saying this, but this might be one of my biggest surprises yet. Okay, maybe not surprise, because I knew that he was good and I knew the song had potential, but it definitely grew on me more now that I've seen him live. And yeah, this might go in my top 15. It just might. Things are definitely changing a little bit more. And as I said, that that happens every single time when we see all of these live perform performances, because it's so hard to tell how it's going to be portrayed on stage versus a music video. It's there's no comparison. Okay, let us move on to our next song here, and that is from one of the favorites to win this whole contest this year, and that is Croatia with Rim Tim, Taggy Dim, and Baby Lasagna. I have already seen this live, obviously, I think most of us have, but have we seen this? No, he's probably perfected his whole performance way more, I reckon, now that, you know, he's going to Eurovision. This guy wasn't even meant to be going, to be even in the Dora 2024. So I think he was maybe caught off guard a little bit. Ooh. Different outfit. He's got more of the farm, farm boy thing. I think the music video, he was in that, no? Chow, mo chow. <laughs> Oof, this song does not get old. How many times you play it? There's no going back. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, yeah, I mean, he just knows how to do this. Why that? Yeah, please move my way. So infectious in every way. Look at everyone. Wow! Honestly, best bit of the song. Everyone. <laughs> ah, the drama! <laughs> oh, I like this silhouette. That's cool. That's a bit different to what we saw. Oh my gosh, this is like a really like iconic moment like just the way that again everyone knows this so well 
and the hype. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh. I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of space when this comes on in Eurovision because I'm gonna move a lot. Just like that. Oh, everyone's doing this. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Honestly, that might have the biggest crowd reverb that any performance has had so far. I know we've only done like what four. I still think this could win the whole contest. I really do. There's something very different. Yeah, familiar, but refreshing at the same time. And again iconic anthemic it has all those right aspects or components i think a eurovision winning song needs to have and i can't wait to see this live in the Euro on the eurovision stage because it can only get better from that and i it's hard to say how that's even possible but yeah his vocals were even better in this version so hi it's just making me so excited. But anyway, let us move on to the next song, and that is Denmark with Saba and Sand. Ooh, ooh. I do love the chorus of this. Did she say say or sand? I just realized that. <laughs> I think it's sand. Sand, sand. Oh, it's sand. She sounds really good. I, I really like this. This was in my, my top 15 mentions. It could creep in there when we see the actual final performance. But again, that is promising. None of these have been bad. All right, let's move on to another one of my favorites this year. And that is Finland with Windows 95 Man and No Rules. Yep. Crowds are back again here. I'll find the wind beneath my wings. The, the front, especially. <laughs> Going for it. That'll be me. Yeah, what's wrong, alright? I mean, this is not a vocal, vocally strong performance, but who cares? Like, it's so good in every single way. And again, I feel like that is just gonna be one of those songs that we're gonna absolutely love to sing along to. And the whole audience of Eurovision, I think is gonna love that one. Once again, I think it's definitely gonna qualify that one. It's no question of the doubt. Okay, let's move on to Island by Bambi Thug with Doomsday Blue. Everyone really has high hopes for this song. I'm still feeling quite in the middle ground. So let's see how this live performance went down. I do like the graphic in the back. That's very cool. See, listen to the crowd. They are bringing the energy, the demonic energy. But then I do like how this song becomes quite jazzy. It's very sonically pleasing in most parts of the song. But I guess the song is meant to really make your body question what's going on to shock you. And it does do that for sure. Oh, see, I, I wanted to sing along more. You know what? I do want to see this in the final. I really do. I hope it does get through because, and I think it will because it is so unique for Ireland to have something like this and in general to have a song like this in the contest. So I like it. Just feel like it's not my favorite in the whole contest. Okay, let's go on to Italia with La Noia and Angelina Mango. I think this is one of my favorites as well this year. So I have high hopes. I mean, she's a born performer. So don't really think this is gonna go wrong. Ooh, I'm already obsessed. Ooh. La Noia. La Noia. La Noia. I mean, look at the crowd again. I love this song so much. 
And she looks so good. Vocals on point. Total. I love that. Ah, she's bringing that. I feel like the Spanish crowd are gonna love this too because it's got that Latin sound. A lot of countries in the Mediterranean will vibe with this. Like even if she tripped again, she'd do it so like gracefully. A cappella bit's always so good. Like, I don't speak Italian if that wasn't obvious. I can sing along to this. Oh, this lighting, the style, everything about this. Yes, I think this also could win this year. Like, like, let me know if you want to see, like, a prediction winners video from me, because I feel like I I could probably do it, I think, after looking at these pre-parties. But this is definitely one of them. I'll tell you that. It's up there. It has to be. Like, it's so simple, yet effective. There's nothing else on the stage, really. It's just her, and she filled it up. Kind of how I was saying with Lada Neva, I just think she knows how to get the crowd going, and... It's another really good party song for this year and I, you just can't fault it in any single way. I love it. Let's move on to another favourite here. It's Lithuania with Look Telk with by Sylvester Belt. Good vocal. I do like the little strip on his eye. Oh, it's such a fist pumper. We do have a lot of that this year, but this particularly. I don't know why people are sleeping on this. This is just really like, you're gonna get everyone going. And his energy is really good. I'm really liking the lighting as well. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> See? <laughs> Woo! Yes. Oh, I love that. That was really good. Like, is this gonna be my favorite song this year? No, it isn't, but it's definitely up there. It's. It has to be in my top 15 for sure. And it doesn't have to be a winning song to do well in Eurovision. I think that this is again, one of those songs that we're just gonna really, really enjoy. And that was great. I loved it. Let us move on to Serbia with Ramonda by the very beautiful Te Teodor. This is another one of the favorites this year. Oh, let's not start in the middle. Really good vocals. I really like the lighting as well here. Ooh! Yeah, this is as good as I thought it was gonna be. Although people are talking more than singing, that's a little bit rude. It's one of those ballads I think is going to stand out in this contest for sure. And I have high hopes that this is definitely going to qualify and do very well. I see this on the left hand side of the leaderboard as well. And there wasn't much going on on there, but they had the lighting 100% corrected. And we are going to have more on the stage once again. So let us move on to Slovenia by Veronica. No, by Raven and the song Veronica. I'm not too sure about the song. 
very controversial because I know everyone loves this so much. I just think there's better ballads this year, but let's see what the live performance is like. I did see the Croatia Dora video of hers, but it was like an a cappella version, so it didn't really give the best idea of what the song could be like. So let us see what it's like now. I say that and I sing along straight away. Classic. The juries are gonna love this, like vocally. It's very dramatic. I guess it does stand out from the other songs this year too. All she's doing is woo! <laughs> I don't know. To me, there's just, apart from the drama, there's not much substance to the song and I wouldn't listen to it. But that's just me, I'm, I'm one of those people that just Unless the performance is really captivating, which I feel like they're going to bring it on the actual stage. Don't get me wrong. Right now, it's not doing that. I think it's going to qualify, though. I, I could see it for sure. I, I, I'm i not thinking that this is a bad entry. It's better than a lot of some of the other ones that we have. And it is unique, like I said. So let's just leave it at that and wait till we see the rehearsal. Let us move on to Spain, España, and of course, Zora by Nebulosa. Now this is their home country, so I feel like this is gonna have a very good vibe. Ooh. The keyhole. Yep, the crowd. Oh, this outfit. I don't know why people are hating on this. It's just such a tune. Oh, I think that the sing's pretty good too. Oh, yeah. We have yet got another throwback sound that is just so feel good. Yeah, she's not doing much on the stage, but she's doing enough, you know? just be iconic. Zara, Zara. I mean, everyone's gonna be loving those guys on stage as well, as well as the mother energy that she's bringing. Ooh, that climax of it is so good. Oh, wow, the death drop. It always looks so painful, like, Oof, I don't even want to think about that, but it's just so Eurovision. I don't care what anyone says. <gasps> I love it! I'm saying all the wrong words here, but come on. You can't tell me that that wasn't enjoyable in some aspect. Maybe the over sexualness is putting you off a little bit but get over it because you're here to have fun not to be a boring poop didn't disappoint all right let's go on to oh, we've only got a few more left well we've been here for half a day it feels like but it's making up for me not being there to be quite honest with you this has been very good so far i've enjoyed every single moment of it uh but let's go on to my one of my other favorites i feel like i've said that with a lot of these songs but the year that it is these are all a lot of my favorites and that is sweden with unforgettable with marcos and martinos definitely said that with the wrong accent but hey it's going to be interesting to see what they do this how they do this without that amazing staging actually i didn't even think of that yeah, their vocals are really good. I've never really clocked that as much now. The staging's not distracting me, not so much. But it's still a tune. She's unforgettable. Ooh. I do love that beat a lot. She's unforgettable. Do, do, do. Ooh. You know what? Even that we don't have the staging, 
This was still unforgettable for me. It might be one of the best ones we've had. It's just the lighting, isn't it? Everything about it. It's one of those songs that you just want to keep playing. I still think we need a big crescendo bang at the end, but... Oh, they know they're Spanish. When I first heard the song, I just was like, not as captivated until I saw that staging. So I was a bit worried, maybe if we took away that staging, we wouldn't have that impact. But I feel like now that I know what that staging is and that package, it doesn't matter. Because I think what they did there was really impactful with the lighting in every single way. And this is gonna be a great song to start the final with, 100%. It really is the, the perfect one. It's really gonna get the party started in Malmo, that's for sure. Okay, so let us move on to Switzerland, which is our third to last song that we have here. And that is by Nemo with the song Code. Wow, what are they wearing? This is one of the favorites to win as well, I think, this year. Another one to add to that list. Woo! Wow, they're hitting the notes. Vocals. Like, so buttery, but like, going all over the place in a good way. The composition of this song is really genius. Whoa. The rap. Oh, I love this song. I feel like this is going up in my rankings. Ah. Wow, I'm surprised I even hit that. think you have broken the code, Nemo. Like, genuinely, this could do it. Something's happening. Like, we're going on such a journey with this song. Oh my God. Instrumentally, vocally, and they're on the stage with like, an interesting outfit, but it's all working so well. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what's happening with me. I didn't feel like this when I first heard it, but I just think this has got it. Okay, I'm gonna stop with that. I'll leave it to Nemo. Oh yeah. Wow. think you have. I have adrenaline in me, what? Oh my gosh, honestly. I, I think this might be my biggest grower this year now. Now, we're pretty much at the end now, so like I can tell you that, but. This is up there now for me, for sure. Again, this, we could be looking at our winner with that one as well. If we could, but I'm not gonna say definitely because there's too many options this year and we know how difficult it is. But anyway, let's move on to another one of my favorites. There's too many. And that is Ukraine, but of course, Jerry Heil and Aliona Aliona with Teresa and Maria. Oh, I love in the outfits. Much better than the uh, Vidbir ones. Oh, beautiful. That is low. Lower than before, no? I do love how she can do that. Go from such low to high. Okay. A little trouble there. Other than that, great. This is just such a good song. Spiritually good, anyway. Mama, 
Maria. Not too sure what that was. Was that Aliona? Aliona singing. Something went a bit wrong there. Three, two, one, go. Is, is Jerry doing that? I don't know if she needs to do that. Like chiming into the rap. Okay. No, it's, it's okay. I just feel like this should be her limelight, no? Something's not quite syncing with the two, I'll be honest. It's still very good, but there's moments I'm like, not too sure. Oh, I mean, it's still such a beautiful song. You can't deny that. I just don't think this is going to win this year. Like, after hearing that, unless the staging and the overall package at the end, which I still think is going to be great, I just don't think this really has that winning factor right now. But it is one of my most played songs this year. So I don't know. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind this one, it, but I just don't see it. Let's move on to our last song. And that is Uc Ukraine. No, we just looked at Ukraine note. The UK with uh, Dizzy by the Ollie Alexander. <laughs> round and round until the moment. Oh, who's on the stage? Singers? I hope he dances more than this, though very lackluster without the movement in the music video. Again, again. I like this a lot, this um, talky bit. Don't even know what to call it. I do need more of that though. Couldn't really tell what's going on, but please bring more movement than that. That was not enough. But again, with all of these performances, it's this is not the Eurovision performances. Let's be honest. This is just like kind of taster, the tip of the iceberg of what we're gonna see. So let's not get too caught up of what we're seeing right now, but it, it's nice for us to see a little bit of what might happen, especially for some of these artists that we've just seen the music videos with. I'm so gutted that I couldn't be there, but at least I could have gotten a bit of what it was like there. I feel like ooh, it must be amazing to have been in that crowd. So let me know down below what it was like if you were there and let me know what pre parties you were going to, because of course Barcelona coming up this weekend, also London Eurovision party, which I'm sorry, I can't be there this year, but I will be in Malmo, so. Let me know what your favorite performances were in this whole lineup in, in Madrid. And it just really made me realize how many good songs there are this year. Even though I mentioned there were some that I don't think are qualifying, honestly, there are all such good songs. And I feel like this just proved to me even more, like I've been filming for almost two hours now and it has gone so quickly. It's just such a good year. And this just really did bring me back to life and it's brought that excitement of Eurovision back that I felt like I really was worried was going for a second, it was getting a little bit ugly, but we're bringing it back and that's all that matters. And this is gonna be such an exciting year. I am so ready for it. I hope you guys are as well. And as I said, let me know down below what your favorite Eurovision entry is so far. Who are you most excited to see in Malmo? And if there are some other live performances you want me to see, please let me know down below as well. I will try to get to that. But anyway, guys, of course, that was just what I thought. But I want to know what you thought of the pre-party ES 2024 down in the comment section below. I'm going to go and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.